Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn about different Linux levels in Linux and CentOS operating system. So firstly understand what is a run level by its definition. So we can say that a run level is a preset single digit integer that defines the operating system state of Linux and Unix like operating system handled by init command. So the init command is one of the most important processes you can say whether it's PID1 it is called the Pfizer of all processes add as is used for initialization of the processes then each run level allows for different combination of running processes and vary depending on the operating system being used so run level while switching between run levels you can see that some of the processes get activated and some get deactivated some network system get enabled, some get disabled, disabled by using the operate, uh, run levels in the operating system. So learning about the different run levels, so there are basically seven run levels in Linux as follows. Run level 0 is called the halt and it shuts down the system. Run level 1 is the single user mode and it is used to perform the administrative task. Run level 2 is the multi-user mode with network enabled but most of the network services are disabled that uh, it does not configure the network interface and does not export the network services. Renewable 3 is the multi-user mode with everything configured but the graphics is disabled in this mode. Then Renewable 4 is not used and it is user definable. Renewable 5 is multi-user mode with graphics. You can see that Renewable 5 is similar to as Renewable Three, but only the difference is that the graphics is enabled in run level 5 rather than in 3 it is disabled. Then run level 6 is the reboot. It is used to reboot the system. Now moving to the terminal. Let's see the different run levels how to identify them. So how to identify the run level in which the system is running currently. It can be used by the command run level. Okay. Okay, the system is in run level 5. It is operating in run level 5, which is the multi user mode with all graphics and with all graphics enabled in it. Okay. Then there is one more command that is who hyphen R which is used to check the run level so it is in run level 5 as above some detailed description along with him like date then moving to how to change the run level that is one more command like init command init followed by the run level number so let's change to run level 3 okay okay Okay, let's check whether it has been reset or not. The run level is set to 3 or not. Okay, so run level has been set, has been changed from 5 to 3. So over here you can see that the run level which has been changed is temporary. It's done on the temporary basis. Once the system gets rebooted, the run level again gets set to default. So what if you want to change the run level to permanently so that even after the system get reboots it reboots in the same run level which you want so there is one file which file let's check out it is etc in the folder slash etc dot nh tab this is the file let's move to the folder we are in etc let's list the file if it is it present or not the init chap init chap file is present or not let's see for it or we can look like this oh we got it here is the file init chap so we can go inside the file using one of the editors. Let's use the VI editor using the absolute path that is the init etc which is present 
and it is file is in a tab okay okay we have moved so we have to press enter to continue let's press enter and as we have to change something so in VI editor to make some changes or to insert the data we have to press the I button so you can see over here in the bottom it is written the insert now we are in inserting phase in the VI editor so we have to change the run level accordingly okay here we, the ID we can set the run level to you the d that we want to change such as if you want to change to run level 3 then we can put ID hyphen 3 in it default now I want to be it present in level 5 so I will keep as it is now once done we have to press escape oh ho we have to press Q and followed by exclamation and we are done so we are done we have learned about how to check the run level how to change the run level temporary basis permanent basis so I think this video was quite useful for you to understand the basic concept about the run levels commands associated with it and how does it work so thank you hope you enjoyed the video have a great day ahead.